Capricorn, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your uh, weekly tarot reading for the week of uh, February 8th to the 14th, 2021, aka the second week of February. And I do want to take this moment as always to remind you to like this video, leave me a comment and do subscribe to this lovely channel if you haven't already. And don't forget that little notification bell, okay? And when meditating on your energy, I'm going to put this down, just had to cleanse the energy from Virgo's reading. When I'm uh, meditating on your energy overall for the week, the message that came through was finding out why. Finding out why. And you know what? I feel the need to add a dot, dot, dot after that, three dots. Um, but anyways, uh, an interesting overall message. And when shuffling for you uh, with spirit for the week, to speak upon the week, the message that came through was, I just want to shine by Fitz and the Tantrums. Oh, such an amazing positive song. Um, part of me just kind of kind of wants to start singing it for you, but I'm going to hold back. <laughs> it may just ruin this reading. Uh, but the lines that stood out for you, my friends, were, I just want to shine like the sun when it comes up. Run the city from the rooftops because today's going to be my day. Because today is going to be my day. Beautiful. Oh, and then the other line was, I'm just trying to figure out how to be myself right now. So there's a feeling, Capricorn, that as you kind of figure out why certain things happened to you or why you went through certain experiences recently, um, you just kind of want to shine and, you know, get back to running things, feeling like you're in charge of your own life and in charge of other situations as well, and while you just kind of figure out how to get back to being you or figure you out in general. It's powerful. Powerful. Let's um, start by pulling a couple messages from the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle deck. Um, Keep in mind, general reading for the sign of Capricorn. Um, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and check your other placements for other messages uh, for our lovely Capricorns for the week of February 8th to the 14th, 2021. Thank you, Spirit, to begin this weekly read for Capricorn. Thank you, Spirit. It has a feeling of you being a little bit stuck these days and kind of wanting to break out of that. see what we have. Inner desires. Set some intentions. You are entering a phase of plenty or may have a sudden windfall. Goals are within your grasp. There's going to be a highlight, my friends, on your inner desires, you, what you really want out of life, what fulfills you and makes you feel alive within. Um, reminding you that you're stepping into a luckier chapter, that you're stepping into a time of your life where things will just fall into place a little bit easier, where um, your wishes can come true. Nice. That was, that was a sad snap. I apologize. Um, gliding through currents. I do feel like to say you might feel a little shaky in the voice this week. Um, as you can hear it in mine, it might be just sort of a little bit of fear of speaking the truth, speaking your truth. Wow. As you find out why interesting that came out gliding through currents with a different approach, you will glide through a situation with grace and ease. Going inward and bringing your understanding, perspective, or behavior into flow will help your dreams take flight. On one note, it's reminding you, Capricorn, that it is truly essential this week to go with the flow, to not try to force things, to not try to control every situation and how it unravels, allowing the spirit and the universe to have their um, room, their wiggle room to uh, make things better than you can ever imagine or see them happening, but also to kind of adjust your perspective if need be on your own situation in your life, on how things are unraveling in order to remove any sort of mental blockage that's keeping you from achieving these dreams or wishes from um, them sort of once again taking flight. Nice. Let's um, do some shuffling and pull seven tarot cards, one for each day of the upcoming week for our lovely Capricorns. Thank you, Spirit. Sorry, just making sure I don't have anything gross on my face. Uh, keep them coming for Capricorn. Alrighty, we got three so far. Interesting. Keep them coming for our caps. Caps. Alrighty, let's see what we have. We each have one left. We're going to pull that one right from the top. Okay. We have the Fool card to begin. 
So Monday rolls around. And there's this feeling as a reminder you're being pushed. I'm kind of seeing in a nice way the spirit spirit in the universe is pushing you. You've been standing on this um, on the edge kind of debating on whether to go with the flow or to start trusting spirit in the universe once again and they kind of just lightly go whoop. All right Capricorn, it's time to trust us again. It's time to go with the flow. It's time to start anew and have trust in the fact that starting fresh can um, benefit you moving down, moving um, along your journey. Even if it feels out of your comfort zone, if it feels risky leaving something behind that has felt comfortable for a while. But on a bigger note, it's again going back to you just sort of trusting the process, accepting that if you fall back into how things are meant to unravel and not try to control things as much, um, you get this reminder, you instantly kind of get this sense that your wishes and your dreams are going to be granted moving forward. Again, you're stepping into a luckier chapter, but it's you're going to get in your own way. You're going to interfere with Spirit Universe's um, work, if you will, if you don't kind of fall back or continue to do so. Interesting. Five of Swords. And so you make your way to Tuesday and you have a headache, my friend. Something's stressing you out and it could potentially just be you stressing your own self out up here not able to control or stop those thoughts. Control is a bad word. Not able to kind of put an end to those thoughts. And it's interesting because then we move right along. Spirit saying, focus on the fact that you're going to be victorious in whatever you're stressing yourself out about at this time. Or you're just stressed about in general. Because we have the devil card and Spirit saying, I'm right, this is all about you overthinking once again. It's sort of controlling your mind, controlling your day, your week, letting it unravel into something that it shouldn't be, giving those thoughts too much uh, power, too much worth. Needing to kind of work on a few um, personal habits, Getting when you get into a negative mindset or thought, instantly turning it to something more appreciative, you know, a sense of gratitude, sending that high vibration out to the universe so you can get blessings in return and opportunities, blessings in general. Five of Wands. And so you make your way to Thursday and there's a sense of conflict, a bit of chaos, however this pertains to you. We're gonna clarify it with a little everyday tarot for our beautiful Capricorns. Thank you, Spirit, for the Five of Wands. Oh, Knight of Cups. What else do we have? Just want one more. Bear with me, my friends. For this Five of Wands for Capricorn. Okay. There's a situation, and it's going to be different for all of you, my friends, where there's either... No, I'm not going to take those. Eight of Swords and Knight of Cups. Um, it just feels like whatever situation this is, is leaving you feeling trapped, is leaving you feeling limited. And I do feel like it's having to do with a, for some of you, a relationship. For some of you, there's one person in your life um, who just kind of charges in and makes thing, things a bit more complicated than they need to be. Whether you appreciate, love this person, however it may be. Interesting. And it's like, it feels as if things have been a little bit calmer for you recently. Things have been less stressful. And it's like, Boom, then whoever, whenever this one person comes in or this situation that you wrap yourself up in, conflict, chaos, and you're just like, ah, no, why? And it's because you haven't instilled certain boundaries with this person, these people, or the situation. And we have the Ten of Swords to move right along. And so you make your way to Friday, and there's a feeling that that situation's going to come to an end, or you're sort of, sort of putting your foot down, putting an end to it. You know, Tens are all about completion. You know, if you think about the typical Ten of Swords, it's like it's a person laying on the ground with Ten Swords in their back. Granted, that's dramatic and um, and whatnot. It's accurate, you know? It feels like this situation has left you kind of so tied up and so burnt out and at this point that it leaves you feeling like you've got swords in your back, you know? Like it t gets the best of you at the end of the day. And they're saying, go with the currents, my friend. Go with the flow when this sort of starts to come to an end or that person or situation's role in your life is minimalized. 
not fighting it at the end of the day. So line with the Fool card, and this is something you just need to go with the flow with. Like I was just saying, you need to fall back into some of these changes and adjustments. Um, and it's at this point in the week where you'll sort of get a, a blank filled in or some clarification as to why um, this person is the way they are. But also in a larger sense, you're getting this clarification as to why you have the sense of conflict in your life these days, why it just keeps randomly popping up. And again, it's because of this one person or this group of people and you're just rather a situation, but I feel it's one person or a group and you're going to have to figure out how to move forward in a healthier way. And it's not going to happen by kind of trying to control things. Six of Wands. And so you make your way to start the weekend on Saturday and you get the sense of recognition, appreciation, for all you've been doing with your work, um, your career in general. Some of for some people in your life have noticed some of the adjustments that are being made and you just kind of go with the flow a bit more and they're like, wow, a new and improved Capricorn. I like it. It's aligned with this Five of Swords and they're saying, do you see how when you kind of eliminate some overthinking or you eliminate situations that have been holding you back or weighing you down in one way, shape or form in you know, the form of conflict and chaos, look how much um, appreciation, recognition, how much, how how many different forms of rewards are going to start to flow in for you? Because you removed any sort of blockage or that clouded chaos and conflict in your life. Ace of Pentacles. And so you make your way to finish up the week on Sunday. And you're given the sense that there's a fresh start ahead for you in your career, in your life in general, in relationships, if that's something you desire at this time. For the majority of you, you just simply are like, okay, this is great. I'm glad this blockage is removed. I'm glad this situation's, you know, being taken care of in one way, shape, or form. But you're just sort of more like, all right, well, I don't need other relationships right now to replace that. I want my money. I want my success. And they're saying, that's good. You know, just keep sending out whatever vibrations you desire at the end of the day, but in an optimistic light. But this Ace of Pentacles is aligned with the Devil card, and they're saying, you're not going to be able to successfully take advantage of this new beginning. However, this pertains to you or these new beginnings. Uh, if you continue to overthink, my friend. So working on that habit moving forward will help you take best take advantage of this beautiful chapter of yours. Um, again, where your desires, your wishes, your goals will all just come to fruition. Just don't get in your own way. From the Find Your Happy deck to finish off this reading for our beautiful Capricorns. I don't overthink my current situation. You best not Capricorn, because at the end of the day, you're in the midst of transforming, transitioning to bigger and better things. So keep that in mind when things feel a little bit up and down this week. And my life is an experiment. I embrace the exploration. Try to get into the mindset of you just sort of exploring and getting to know new situations, going with the flow once again, viewing it as a journey, as an adventure. And on a beautiful third note, I am gentle with myself in transitions. Again, a lot of changes, a lot of transformation, adjustments to be made this week and moving forward. So be um, gentle with yourself. Don't be hard on yourself at the end of the day because you're just going to make it that much harder for you to deal with some of these uh, adjustments. Okay? So Capricorn, I hope this reading was truly helpful. Don't forget to like this video. Leave me a comment and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I hope you have the most amazing week and I'll see you next time. Bye.